Of all the places on earth that are home to exquisite species, Southern Africa is particularly noted. But its flora and fauna stand prone to increasingly violent climate change within the next decades. And that's a prediction that's come to have scientific credibility only very recently. Climate change is happening. Climate change is most likely the result of man-made activities and climate change will be with us for at least 100 years to come. Proof that climate change is happening has been discovered in southern Africa. This is the story of that discovery and why it's so important to world-class biodiversity hotspots. It involves two scientists and the quiver tree. The two scientists, Wendy Foden and her supervisor, Guy Midgley, from the South African National Biodiversity Institute, chose the desert succulent, the quiver tree, to predict what the future holds. Wendy flies to Windhoek to start her journey of discovery in Namibia, in the desert, northwest of the capital, at Brandberg Mountain, the hottest place that quiver trees can survive but have they? And will there be any young ones? Um, but no, we will find in some young ones, well, some live ones. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm very much hoping. When we land at Vintuk, um, we've got to go up to uh, Okahanja and then across um, to Karabib, Isakos, and then um, up towards the Brandberg. The quiver tree of Alodicotoma also known as the cockaboom, is a large succulent tree that grows exceedingly slowly in the arid desert in an area called the Succulent Karoo Biodiversity Hotspot. These resilient trees can live for hundreds of years, but as the climate heats up, so new trees will have to grow where it's cooler. There goes the, there are the trees, we found them. I'm not sure how much further we can drive, Wow, these were giants when they died. Computer simulations of climate predictions show the extent of a species' range and what happens over time. They have to migrate. It highlights the whole problem of migration for, for organisms that are essentially sedentary. So we're asking sedentary organisms, which have established a, an equilibrium with climate for thousands of years, to suddenly become able to move and um, that is uh, that's a tough ask.